So I'm taking on the task of researching Mariah Carey. So I wanted to bring you guys along with me as I continue making my list of performances that I need to watch to understand Mariah Carey's voice and also find some conclusions. Has Mariah Carey won Album of the Year? Album of the Year, nominated, she didn't win. <gasps> Mariah Carey has never won Album of the Year? Oh my gosh, I'm, I'm gonna be sick. Oh my gosh, this is an atrocity. That actually feels sickening. We're gonna move on though, we're, we're moving on. Say Mariah, I like this. That looks like, yep, and I already have it written. Uh, I love that you can still hear the brightness in her tone. Ah, this is 2019. Great, I need some later stuff too. Grammy 2006, Essence Awards. Okay, SNL 97. Interesting. Billboard Music Awards, 1999. Okay. Yes, you need to listen to, to Vision of Love live in Zurich. 2003, ooh. Okay, come on 2000s. Anything that's from the 2000s, I definitely wanna hear. Vanishing from SNL, 1991. She did Fly Like a Bird on American Idol. What? That vocal will never get old to me. Oh my gosh, that vocal will never get old. Oh my gosh, that thing sounds so good. This, I grew up on Mariah, she's my favorite. Hero from Fantasy. What she did on Butterfly is so underrated. I loved her daydream and her performances. But I'm biased because that's my favorite album. I know what it's like to have, have a little bit of a bias. Okay, so MTV Unplugged, Tokyo Dome, uh, Madison Square Garden. These are all on my list. BET Blueprint. We belong together in Jamaica in 2015. Hmm. We belong together. Oh, that's hilarious. Okay, I think I've gotten a lot from before 2005. I want to find stuff from after 2005. Now, I wanted to pause a little bit here because I wanted to let you guys know that for those of you that have wanted to work with me as in voice lessons, I have opened up some space in my calendar. So if you want to work with me, I'm going to put a link up here. Click that link and you'll be able to schedule a free voice consultation. Let's make it happen. Let's work together. Let's reclaim your voice. Now go back time with me, but there is a post that I saw that was very intriguing and started to really make my thoughts start to bubble. Mariah Carey confirms that there would be classic songs that show up her voice on her highly anticipated 16th studio album. So Mariah Carey is releasing another album. Someone said a lot of lands need to stop living in 1993. And I think that this is something that is common with a lot of different fan bases where they are super, super tied to the old music and the vocal prime of whoever their artist is that they want classic songs that show off the person's voice. Music Box came out 31 years ago and y'all are still making the same mess. If y'all don't go put that on vinyl and leave her alone. What I'm thinking is Mariah Carey started out as more of a pop ballad year and she's always been that, but it had a major switch when Mariah started having a lot of hip hop influence in her music, featuring rappers. In fact, she did that on Fantasy, on the Fantasy remix. Yeah, Mariah's been having hip hop influence, but a lot of people think that the hip hop influence steals from uh, Mariah Carey showca showcasing her voice. Mm, this is interesting. There are also some racial implications with it. We won't talk about that yet. People don't realize that when an artist comes out, they're making the music that is most palatable to everybody, especially if you're signed to a record label. And then as you go along, you can reflect more and more of what your own personal creativity is. And Mariah Carey's done that since very early in her career. It has nothing to do with Mimi's voice and everything to do with the reduction of her legacy in hip hop and in R&B and hip hop to scatting over hip hop beats. That's where I take issue. I take issue with that too. I'm gonna go there. Mariah Carey is a biracial woman that presents, like when you look at her, you think that she's a white, you could think that she's a white woman. In fact, honestly, me, I grew up on church music, so I wasn't allowed to listen to R&B in the 90s. So when I was reintroduced to Mariah Carey with the emancipation of Mimi, I thought she was a white woman. And I think that because she presents as a white woman, a lot of people uh, have white expectations of her and they hold her vocal prowess above her commitment to black music that is R&B, that is hip hop. 
and she's infused that in her music all the time and she's worked on with so many different rappers like she loves hip-hop but a lot of people want to divorce the side of her that is the most palatable to white people they want to rip that away from her hip-hop and r&b heritage and you can't do that otherwise you won't have mariah carey interesting what we think is actually a divide between mariah carey's quote-unquote vocal prime and her later music is simultaneously a divide between her whiter leaning music and her blacker leaning music. I think that's an implication that needs to be talked about when you're talking about Mariah Carey. And a lot of people don't realize that they actually might be participating in a level of racial bias when they exclude or want to exclude Mariah's hip hop from the rest of her music. Now, I don't think that's all lambs. There are fans of so many different types that want different things from their artist. But I think that's, yeah, that's gonna be, one piece. So why don't I go back to um, my thread? But don't let anyone She changed the key there. Yeah, this is good, and I love how they changed the key of hero. We belong together. The, the re-record. Yeah. Okay, so the Daydream Tour, homecoming show at her high school. I saw that too. Man, I just watched that. Somebody just showed me that. <laughs> Diva's live, yep. I used to feel the way you do. Still I have to keep on going. Hands down, emotions live at our city hall. That's where it is from. If you look at this list, most of people's favorite performances are from her vocal prime. That actually is common for any artist, but it does make me wonder if a lot of people that love Mariah Carey are only paying attention to when she was at her vocal prime. So, okay, that's my takeaway from day two. Hopefully I can get some more time in and just go through this thread. This thread is a gift from God. Thank you for everybody. Oh my gosh, thank you. I have a wonderful video on when we actually talked about one of the later Mariah Carey songs, which was The Distance. You can check that out right over here. And I also have a wonderful playlist for all of my Mariah Carey videos right about here. And of course, if you're new, subscribe to this channel because this is the place where we help you to reclaim your voice. Reclaiming my voice, I'm O'Neill Gerald, and I'll see you in another video. Bye, everyone.